of the kind of pots I make, which are essentially uh, medium-sized pots, mostly medium and small, uh, it holds about 600 pieces. Wow. Yeah. And so you're firing this how many times a year? Originally I fired it about, about uh, once a month. Uh, but <laughs> that was original. <laughs> I, I, I'm older now. <laughs> I fired about once every two months. <laughs> well, uh, I knew Michael, yeah, because he, he came back to England from Africa while we were still in England. And uh, in fact, we, we got to know Michael had left England and going to Africa to, to help a, a situation down there. Uh, and uh, he had left a guy who he had known as an apprentice, who had never done pots before he came to Michael. And Michael just uh, went off to Africa and left him. He said, you're in charge. <laughs> and we got to know him. He was an Australian fellow. He'd been a... a first mate on a, on a, a cargo boat uh, in uh, hauling stuff between Japan and uh, Australia mm -hmm. and he got interested in pottery and so he quit that job and just went to England and he came try, and he tried to persuade Leach to take him as an apprentice but Leach was full up and uh, so he uh, suggested he approach Mike and, the, and Michael and he got on just great. The, uh, his name was Ivan McMeekin hmm. in Australia. I think Ivan has died now, but I'm not certain about that. I've lost touch with him. But we 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 have to know Ivan very well and helped him fire kill him and through him got to know Michael and, you know, and and Michael was always a good friend of Bernard's and came to visit. And then the other question I had for you was um you had mentioned um, during your talk in San Francisco about when Hamada came mm -hmm. to the United States and your wife had organized that. Yeah. And yeah. one of the things that struck me is that Hamada was only here for two weeks or something like two this. Two weeks. And I was just curious how how that all came well, together. And well, all right. Uh, uh, it's kind of a long tale. Uh, but uh, we met Hamada and Yanagi uh, in England just as we were leaving uh, England. And we were there, uh, we stayed on after our uh, apprenticeship at Leach uh, for uh, an international conference of potters and weavers. And that's what Hamada and Yanagi came from Japan to attend. And, uh, and so we were introduced to Hamada. We, we uh, got to know him there. This was a, a one-week conference, and, and it was very interesting because it was truly international. People came from all over, and uh, uh, Hamada, uh, as the conference came to an end, he and Leach had decided that they were going to go back to Japan together because Bernard hadn't been to Japan in a long time, and. Uh, uh, they decided that instead of going back via Europe and India, they would keep going west. And my wife was standing next to them when we were, they were discussing this one day. And she said, well, you know, if you're going through America, she said, would you consider doing a series of workshops? And Hamada thought for a while. And he finally said, well, if you'll arrange them, we'll do them. <laughs> and so uh, we, we selected four places where they would do workshops. They visited many other places, but they, they, they had two weeks at each one of these four places. The first was in Black Mountain College. The second was here in St. Paul. The third was at Archie Bray Foundation in Montana. And the fourth was in uh, the Cunard Institute at, uh, Co at uh, California. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what year was this? Like 1952. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, I I went. 
since we'd organized this sort of thing, why the museum we worked for, which was not a very good place to work, and, and where, where I eventually quit work and got, got on at the university, but um, um, they decided they were going to publish a book about these four workshops, which never got published. <laughs> Quite typical of this organization. <laughs> but anyway, I was sent to Black Mountain uh, to observe what they were doing there. And I didn't see the whole workshop because this decision was made after it already started. I saw the last week of it and it was really interesting and, and all. And, uh, but uh, when we, you know, I got home, and they, they were going to have a couple of weeks of travel around and then they were going to arrive in St. Paul. And uh, uh, we decided we didn't want to have a, just Leech and Hamada making pots and Yanagi lecturing, which was what had happened at Black Mountain, uh, which was good enough, but uh, we, we were trying to cover more information. And so we set up a, a few situations uh, which called for them to do certain things, you know, uh, and, uh, and the one I'll re never forget was uh, we'd been really pissed at uh, the way the leech powder was run because it was run so tightly you had to make the pots exactly the way they wanted them. They had to be a certain size, a certain weight of clay, uh, they, uh, uh, and uh, it was it was great training, but boy, the the pots lost something in that 